Welcome to the second part of our lecture on the order Teraptera or the lice. Let's now proceed to the host preference of the group Malifaga. Unlike the Anuplura, there are no Malifagan species that are known parasites of humans. They use mammals and birds as hosts, and most domestic animal species can act as hosts for chewing lice, notable exceptions being pigs, rabbits, and humans. Majority of the species are also highly host-specific, while others can feed on multiple bat-related host species. Moreover, many species display site specificity, and this is demonstrated mainly by those lice that are associated with birds. The slides to follow will enumerate the representative species of chewing lice in domestic animals. For cattle, uh, the chewing lice that infest cattle is the Buvicula pobis. This is also known as the cattle biting louse, and it belongs to the family Trichodectidae of the group Esnocera. So cattle have one species of chewing louse and several sucking lice. Each has its own predilection site on the body. They are seen mostly in house cattle in winter. Heavy infestations cause ill drift, anemia, and lead to downgraded leather. The diagram shows the lice of cattle, and these are all females. Letter A is uh, an example of a chewing lice or a biting lice of cattle, and all others are sucking lice. The letter A is a cattle biting louse or the bubicula bobis. Letter B is a sucking lice, and that is the long nosed cattle louse, Linognatus petuli. Letter C is also a sucking lice. Little blue cattle louse, Solenipotus capillatus, and letter D is a short nosed cattle louse, Hematopinus eurysterinus. So, again, for cattle, they are only infested by the, uh, there is only one species of the biting lice that uh, infest cattle, and that is the Bubicula bobis or the cattle biting louse. So, here another diagram of the Bubicula bobis. Sheep are infested by Bovicula bobis, and this is under the family Trichodectidae of the group S. nocera. Sheep have one chewing louse and two sucking lice. The sucking lice of sheep are the foot louse and the uh, face louse, the nognatus uh, pedalis and the denognatus ovilus, respectively. And for their significance, they can result in the damage in the fleece. We have here a diagram to compare the biting louse of sheep and the biting louse of cattle. So letter A is the bovicula ovis of sheep and letter B is the bovicula bovis of cattle. This is another photograph of the bovicula ovis of sheep. Goats are infested by the biting louse from the trichodectidae family of the group S. nocera, and these are the Bovicula capri, Bovicula limpatus, and the Crassipis. This shows a diagram of the Bovicula capri of goats, and this is also known as the goat biting louse, or the red louse, and it is also known as Damalinia capri. This is at 40 times magnification. This photograph shows the morphologically identified three species of lice on small ruminants and uh, we are interested here in letter A. This is the bovicula capri on goats. The letter B is the sucking louse of goats and that is the Lenognatus africanus. And a letter C is the uh, a diagram to compare the biting louse of goats to that of the goat or to that of the ship, and that this is the bovicula obis of ship. Horses are infested by bovicula equi, that is also known as the horse biting louse, damalinia equi, or the trichodectis parum pilosus. This belongs to the trichodectidae family of the group S. nocera. 
So horses have one chewing louse and one sucking louse. The sucking louse of horses is the hematopinus asini. This diagram shows the bobicula agree at 40 times magnification. So for additional information about bobicula equi, uh, bobicula equi is also known as the damalinia equi, and uh, it has a predilection for the neck and the tail head. Outbreaks are more likely to occur during the winter time, and clinical signs include pruritus, alopecia, and scaly skin. Dogs are infested by two uh, species of uh, chewing lice, and that is the Trichodectis canis and the Heterodoxus spinicher. The Trichodectis canis is under the family Trichodectidae of the group Esnocera, while the Heterodoxus spinicher is under the family Boopidae of the family or rather of the group Amblycera. This is a diagram to show the clear specimen of the adult Trichodectis canis. We also have here a clearer view of the anatomical parts of the adult Trichodectis canis to show the head, the antenna, the thorax, the leg, and the abdomen. This diagram shows the Trichodectis canis and it shows that it is about 1.5 millimeters in length and it can be visualized without magnification. We also have here the Heterodoxus spinicher, and um, the, the right uh, picture here shows, or the left picture here shows the, uh, the clear picture of the parasite, and we also have here the clinic's actual case. So again, Heterodoxus uh, spinicher or an amblesseran chewing louse that uh, parasitizes the birds and mammals feeding primarily on epidermal slough, but in dogs, they are considered to be primarily hematophagous. We also have here a photograph of the male and the female heterodoxus finiture from Borneo. Cats are infested by the cat-biting louse Felicula soprostratus and it is under the family Trichodectidae of the group Esnocera. This is a diagram of the Felicula sobrostratus from cats at 40 times magnification. We also have here a closer look of Felicula sobrostratus from cat at 100 times magnification. This louse is easily recognizable because the head is triangular in shape. Chickens, on the other hand, are infested by two families of biting lice, and these are the family Menoponidae and the family Phelopteridae. The family Menoponidae is again uh, under the group Amblesera, while the family Phelopteridae is under the group Esnocera. So under the Menoponidae family, we have the Minopon Galinae and the Menacanthus stramenius. For the Phelopteridae, we have the Gonyocotes gallinae, Gonyocotes gigas, Gonyocotes dissimilis, Coclotogaster heterographus, and the Lipurius caponis. So we have here a diagram of the Menopon species of Laos at 40 times magnification. This is another picture of the Menopon species of Laos at 40 times magnification. So we have here a diagram of the Menacanthus traminius that is also known as the chicken body louse and the yellow body louse. So this is, uh, aside from chickens, it also infests other poultry such as turkey, peafowl, and pheasant. So this diagram is at 40 times magnification. This is another picture of the Menacanthus traminius. Turkeys are also infested by Menacanthus raminius or under the family Menoponidae. Uh, they are also infested by Chelopestes milligridis and the Oxalipurus polytrapecius from the family Phelopteridae. This is a diagram of the common lice of poultry.
So again, poultry are only infested by chewing or biting lice. So letter A represents the flap louse or the gonyocotes gallinae. Letter B is the menacanthus raminius or the chicken body louse. Letter C is the menacanthus cornutus. Letter D is the chicken head louse, coclotogaster heterogropus. We also have here the chicken wing louse, Lipurus capunis, and the shaft louse, Menopon gallinae. Menacanthus traminius, or the chicken body louse, is considered to be the most common and the destructive louse of domestic chickens. It is worldwide in the distribution, and unlike other chicken lice, it is found on the whole skin rather than on the feathers. It is considered to be most abundant on the sparsely feathered vent, breast, and the thigh regions. For its clinical significance, heavy infestations or heavy populations of the chicken body louse decrease the reproductive potential in male birds. Also, the egg production in layers and weight gain in growing chickens. Areas of the skin irritation are also sites of for secondary bacterial infection. For its prevention and control, lice are usually introduced to a farm through infested equipment such as the crates or the egg flats or by galliform birds. Lice are best controlled on caged chickens or turkeys by spraying with insecticides. The eggs are not killed, so insecticide treatment should be repeated after 10 days. Birds on the floor are more easily treated by scattering insecticidal dust on the litter or by providing dust boxes containing sand and an insecticidal dust.